Thank you. You're welcome. Als man sich 1989 bei Disney nach vielen Jahren wieder an einen abendführenden Animationsfilm nach einem Märchen versuchte, wurde der auch wegen der brillanten Musiknummern des Teams Mencken Ashman zu einem enormen Erfolg, dem jetzt diese aufwendige Realfilmversion folgt. Ariel von 89 ist für mich das seltene Beispiel für einen perfekten Film. Perfect movie. Well, here's what I, I look at. I just this is an idea that actually came to me very recently when I was talking about this. The Little Mermaid was my first film score. It was very naive, very simple and naive. Um, the songs were very emotionally based, and and also. We were coming off a little shop of horrors, so there was a lot of fun in it and passion in it. But it's, it was this little fragile now, if you look back at it. We're taking this from how many years ago? Uh, 30-something years ago. And Rob Marshall took this and embedded it in a large live-action movie and brought it back into the light. And we, we adapted it so that it's fresh and new again. And there it is. Um, enhanced. So, yes, of course, I felt it was perfect too. Um, this might have been more perfect. I swear, it's it's just wonderful. Es war schwer vorstellbar, den Zeichentrickfilm mit Oscars unter anderem für die Filmmusik und den besten Song zu toppen. Dennoch hat man es versucht und mit Alan Menken, den Komponisten der Klassiker, zur Mitarbeit gewonnen. Ein Mann wäre fast ertrunken. Ich musste ihm helfen. Deine Besessenheit von den Menschen muss aufhören. Ich will doch nur mehr über sie wissen. Ariel war der Beginn der sogenannten Disney-Renaissance, für die sie mitverantwortlich waren. Wie war es, nach 30 Jahren zu ihrer eigenen Arbeit zurückzukehren? Was war diesmal anders? Well, coming back to it has become sort of a a habit of mine now because we keep coming back to them first from animation to the stage and then to live action films and you know it's just so many times I've had to go back to my material and I always see that as I'm excited it's an honor and it's so thrilling to know that people you know really remain attached to it um, and what it's always about for me is What's going to be the new, how are we going to open it up? How are we going to give it a new life? Um, and a lot of that will depend on who I'm collaborating with and who the director is. It's just really exciting and, and often a little, you know, also saddening a little to know that I'm taking song, you know, a score that I wrote with Howard Ashman, who's now gone. But there's always that sense of, God, I'll never know what Howard would have done. This, however, you know, having Lin-Manuel Miranda as the lyricist was almost kismet because I would hear about him as he was growing up because he went to school with my, my niece and my sister would say, there's this boy, Lin-Manuel Miranda, who loves Little Mermaid so much and he asks questions about this and he wants to know about that. He, Could you sign this poster for him and blah, blah, blah. And then years later, There's this young man, Lynn Manuel Miranda, with In the Heights, and then Hamilton. And uh, we, at that point, we met, and I got to see you know, how smart, you know, he's a wonderful person, uh, so passionate, so talented. And then, you know, we're collaborating on songs for this, which was you know, serendipity. Und so gibt es neben den bekannten Hits hey. Diesmal sogar eine Rap-Nummer von Scuttle und Sebastian. Irgendetwas an dir ist anders. Ich weiß nicht, was es ist. Sie hat Beine, du Dussel. Ihre unglaublichen Melodien, die man nie aus dem Kopf bekommt. Wo kommen die her? They come from the characters and they come from the story and they come through me somehow. 
Just, you can't really say how, you know, how do ideas come or it's just. It, it also, I think part of where it comes from is a willingness to just try an idea, try another, and it's sort of you go, is this better? Is this better? Is this better? Is that better? And just do it until you go, oh, that's it. That's, we, we, we're honing in on it. You know, I like to think I'm listening to my gut. Armes Kind. Ich kann dir helfen. Du kannst in dieser Welt nicht leben, es sei denn, du wirst selbst ein Mensch. Ist das denn möglich? Das ist meine Lebensaufgabe. Certainly, cinema on the big screen is maybe just about the best port you could get to reach an audience with an overwhelming experience. Um, that's, I think, part of what makes this adaptation of Little Mermaid so special, because it's so, it's so rich. Alan Menken gewann für seine Disney Soundtracks acht Oscars, und es funktioniert noch immer. Diesmal eben mit einer fotorealistischen Unterwasserwelt, choreografiert in fulminanten Bildern. Das macht durchaus Spaß, belässt aber dem klassischen Zeichentrickfilm seinen eigenen Charme und seinen Platz in der Filmgeschichte. They both exist and they both are wonderful. Um, but right now I'm overwhelmed by how emotional the live action Little Mermaid is and how much it, it evokes emotion from me and from audiences. It's, um, you know, the proof is in the pudding, as they say. <laughs>